Hello, today we'll be folding origami birds. We'll be making three different types, a pigeon, a pelican, and a crane. For this video, you'll use a square piece of paper of any size, so get those ready before we get started. We're gonna start by making the pigeon, so grab a piece of paper, and we're gonna first fold it in half diagonally. And be sure to press down the edges to form a crease. And then you would want to fold the top downwards to about halfway and press it down as well. And then flip the paper over, fold the bottom corner upwards about halfway too. So you get this little square diamond shape. And then fold what we have so far in half, left side over the right. Try to line it up as best as you can, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And you would want to press it down through the middle to form that fold. And there we have it. Now you would want to fold the same flap over like this to make one side of the wings. Yes. And then flip it over and repeat the same on the other side to make the other half of this pair of wings. Okay, so now we have the wings and the body, we're just missing the head. And to make that, you would want to press the center downwards and flatten it like this. And there you have it, that's how you make the head. You could bring it out a little. Over here, I accidentally folded it a little too far backwards. So you could adjust and do it again. So now it looks better and the beaks are protruding more. And there you have it. That's how you make a simple bird. Alrighty, we'll be making the pelicans next. So grab yourself a fresh piece of paper and start by folding it in half diagonally. Make sure you're lining the edges up before you press it down. Be patient with it, and then once you've found it, just press the edges down. Make sure you form a good crease. Then open it up and fold the right corner towards the center. Make sure to line it up with the fold we made earlier and then press it down. Repeat the same on the left side. So we have this diamond shape. Now fold the right side to the center line again. Just be patient with lining it up and then press down the edges. You'll be repeating the same for the left side as well. Once you have this, you will flip the paper over and fold the bottom corner towards the top and press down the fold. Now turn the piece over like this and fold it in half. 
and then we'll be lifting the skinnier end for the neck and head of this pelican. So fold the tip downwards about halfway and press it together to kind of create the shape of a head and a beak like this. Once you have this, we'll be making the wings next. So to do that, we'll be folding this piece upwards. And then flip the whole thing over and repeat what we just did on the other side. And then open it up. You could kind of adjust the head a little to get that angle, that perfect angle, like I'm doing here, trying to fix it, find fixing up the shape a little. And there you have it. That's how you make a simple pelican. Lastly, we're going to be making a more challenging bird, which is the paper crane. So fold the paper in half diagonally. Be sure to press it down the center firmly because you would really want the creases for this bird. And if you have a really stiff or thick piece of paper like I do, I suggest that you also fold the same crease the opposite direction as well to really emphasize that fold. And after you have one fold, fold the opposite diagonal line as well to have those two perpendicular lines. Once you have that, fold it in half, and then you would want to take the top flap open it and crease the left and right side so you could fold the top right corner to the bottom corner to create a square and flip the paper over and do the same again so you get that square shape after you have that fold the left and right corner inward toward the center line and really press the edges down And once you have one side done, flip it over and do the same again. So make sure to line up the edges to the center line. And really press it down. Once you've folded the two sides, fold the top corner down to create a fold. And then you would want to open it up and unfold everything you've done so far and fold the corners inwards to the center to create a diamond shape. Once you have one side, flip it over and do the other. This step is a little tricky, so it might take some time to line everything up. But once you have that, we'll move on.
Now that we have the diamond shape, we'll be folding the bottom corners of it inwards towards the center. You would want to fold both the left and right corners of both sides. Once you have one side done, just flip it over and repeat the same thing for the other. Okay, now you will want to fold the top layer to lay on top of the left side like turning a page of a book. And then flip it over and repeat on the other side as well. And then fold the top layer as far as you can on each side to meet the top corner. Once you have that, fold the top layer to lay on the top of the left side like turning a book again and flip it over to do the same thing on the other side as well. Then fold down the wings and bend down the head to give the crane a long beak. And then you can pull the wings out a little to inflate the body of the crane. Other than that, you are done. Yay, congrats.